Hi guys and welcome to another Best Possible Squad Builder by myself, Bits and 87. Today we are doing the Best Possible Belgium team available to you on FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. It has made one change actually uh, since I thought it was going to be fully complete by the end of FIFA. But it's actually one of the team of season MLS players which has made it in uh, an 80 rated. Wiping out one of the uh, non-informer defenders which you'll see in a sec. So if you guys do want MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below in the description. Use discount code B87 to get a bit of a discount off if you try and hit over 6,000 likes, that'd be fucking awesome as well. And remember to subscribe if you are not subscribed already. So, like I said, guys, this team is going to feature some uh, team of season players, some beasts as well, and we're going to show you them in a sec. So, in the goalkeeper position, when we set up to Belgium, I've probably gone the wrong way, wrong way up here. There we are. Goalkeeper, we go with Man of Match Courtois. He never got a team of season version, even though a lot of people were expecting him to get one. Stuck with his Man of Match version, and it is still a rare card. As you can see, we paid nearly 2 mil for it, and it's not actually a rare card. And there's actually a lot of it. Well, one page of him available currently. In the centre back position on the left hand side, we do go with the 80 rated seaman. He does have um does he have some more cards? I think he's got some silver version cards, this guy. Uh, and he plays for Montreal as well, the same team as obviously Didier Drogba. Uh, we put him on the outside as well with 78 um pace. In the middle, we do go with Vincent Company. He is um actually no, we'll think we'll go with Vertongan, the 82 rated. And then on the left hand side, we'll we will go with Vincent Company, even though he's quite tall, but he's alright as an outside defender. So guys, that is the defence and uh, goalkeeper done. Looks pretty tidy already, not going to lie to you. And uh, Seaman looks absolutely ridiculous and pretty cheap as well. Um, with him currently being in the team of season packs as I'm recording this video. In the centre midfield position, we do go with a player converted down to Cam to a centre mid. And it is Kevin De Bruyne. I love his informed versions. I love his normal version. This card, not so much. Mainly because his shooting feels completely broken. Previously, his shooting was ridiculous, doing the dipping shot. Now, when you try and do a dipping shot, it just flies straight up and does not uh, make any sign of dipping. And uh, obviously, it can put you in uh, a lot of difficult circumstances when you're trying to go for one of them glory shots and unable to do it. Let me know your thoughts on these players if you use them as well, guys. In the CM position on the right hand side, we do go with Team of Season and Golden. Um, he is part of the uh, Vidal Army, 89 pace, 85 shooting, 86 passing, 88 dribbling, 85 defending, and 88 physical. That is a pretty, pretty tidy card. I wouldn't even say this card is 87 rated. It feels a lot better and uh, is easily one of the best players in the team. In the right midfield position, we go with another non informed player, which is Kevin Morales. He made it into the previous version as well. A very tidy all bound player, 88 pace, 83 dribbling, 77 shooting, 77 passing. I can't see him keeping that rate in next FIFA just because he doesn't really play much for Everton. In the left midfield position, we go with team of the season Eden Hazard oh yeah this card is ridiculous and also the highest rated player in the team 95 pace 91 shooting 94 passing 98 dribbling 43 defending don't really care about that and 77 physical his finesse shot guys is the best on the game as well so if you do get a chance to cut in on the inside and with his right foot you will score a lot of finesses that you will see in the highlights in a sec in the cam position we do go with a non-informed player which is Mertens Mertens actually makes it into team even though he has got an informed version and the man of match version but both of them in left midfield and Eden Hazard does knock these versions out but I don't mind playing this guy at cam as he is pretty ridiculous plays as a third striker and uh, if you guys do watch my videos you'll understand how much uh, I do like that type of player so to finish off with the team guys we do go with uh, second in form Ben Teke not a Liverpool version uh, but he got a second in form with Aston Villa Gets uh, a strong link with uh, Eden Hazard as well. There is a lot of Premiership players in this team. 82 pace, 87 shooting, 79 dribbling and 90 physical. He is a dog and I love trying to uh, attack my opponents with him as he is very, very strong. And to finish off the best possible Belgium team, guys, we do go with man of the match, Romelu Lukaku. Um, 81 rated player and gets a strong link with, uh, obviously, Ben Teke and a perfect link with Kerry Morales as well. Being at Everton, 85 pace, 85 shooting and 80 physical. Very similar to Lukaku, but not as good. That's the way I see them. I prefer... Um, the Benteke style striker and that guy is in front of you is the best possible Belgian team we will um, finish a team off actually with uh, Belgian players and uh, then you can see some of the fallen soldiers which have actually not made it into this team um, this time round so let's build them in whack them in have a look at them and as you can see guys a lot a lot of decent players who don't make it in like so Witzel, Fellaini, um, Defoe and a few team of seasons as well even Mignolet doesn't make it in and he is pretty pretty fucking awesome so guys if you enjoyed this video so far far I like it and very much appreciate it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed as well. And let's go and get into the highlights we did manage to get with the best possible Belgian team on FIFA 15. Now, if you guys were in the stream and were viewing this, you will have seen how much fun I was having with this team. It was ridiculous. The main, Obviously, the main player was Ben Teke. He was absolutely outstanding. Um, scoring a lot of goals, didn't expect him to score. 
and even weird goals, as you will see. Uh, I think this one's actually a pretty weird goal. But the players, seeing as though it is the end of FIFA, guys, and you guys probably do have a lot of coins to blow. Especially as it is so far. Well, MLS team season's over. There's nothing really much to do. So if you've got any loose coins and you want to try some decent players out, if you can afford team season Eden Hazard, don't know if you can afford him. I don't know how much he is. He's 500 to 750k and he is selling for, yeah, he's selling for just over 550k, which is pretty good. Um, so pick him up. Kevin De Bruyne, don't really like him. I like his informed versions better than this. Um, Nangolan, definitely a steal of a, ba a bargain if you can pick him up. And the same with Benteke. You can pay around, there's actually two on the market currently, and uh, both of them are 60,000 coins. Now, with the defenders, um, the, the non informed defenders are pretty good. I enjoy using both of them. And even Mana Match Courtois is a very, very solid signing. But with the midfield itself, guys, it's very strange. I was using Kevin De Bruyne to hopefully try and abuse his long shots. Wasn't unable to do so um, because it just keeps on rising. It's very, very frustrating. But we were just uh, decided to change our style of play and absolutely terrorise opponents' defences with Benteke. He is one crazy striker. And uh, if you guys do have the money, go and purchase him. He is ridiculous. Like, really, really fun. Scores a lot of goals. The same with Lukaku, actually, even though I don't really like him. Feels a little bit taller than Benteke. He's six foot three, and Benteke, actually, they're both the same. It might be his hair, which makes me uh, think that he's a little bit taller. Kevin Morales and Mertens, they're two very, very outstanding players. Mertens is a pretty tidy second. He's got a second... In, no, he's got a man of the match, which is an 84 rated. That's a decent card to use. But in the central version, if you like playing that third striker, um, he can do it, as you see there, guys. There's a burst of space and somehow um, was able to run straight through the goalkeeper and score a goal for us. But like I said, guys, this has been one of the most enjoyable and um, best possible squad builders I've done in this FIFA. Uh, really enjoy Belgian team regardless of the informs and stuff and uh, it just felt even better with the likes of uh, Ben Teki up front and Tina Season Howard as well he is one fun strike um, fun left midfielder cutting on that right foot and uh, obviously in the nine games I have played with him over the period of this account uh, nine goals and uh, seven assists which is pretty fucking tidy um, for, for my viewing anyway so um, if you've used any players guys let me know let me know if you agree with what I said about Kevin De Bruyne uh, I like the team fully but obviously Kevin De Bruyne is a little bit let down because I'm expecting to score long shots with him uh, but if you have enjoyed the video guys like it would very much appreciate hit up 6,000 likes subscribe if you are not subscribed already and um, yeah that's basically it and we'll be back another day with another best possible squad builder for you guys to uh, hopefully enjoy